This app made more than $5,000 last month. And this video, I'm going to show you how to reclone this app completely on iOS using Cursor 2.0. So this is the app that we're going to be working with today. We're going to try to reclone it. If we look at the app, the design looks super nice and it has some really nice images to promote the app. And the clone app looks like this. As you can see, it looks very similar to the original app. If we start the timer, then we have the timer going on. And then during the 20 minutes, you can do meditation you can pause it you can stop it and for every icon that we click over here we have different sound effects for example over here you probably have not heard it but we had a slight rain sound effect if we click this one then we have a much heavier sound effect so let's go and try to recreate this app okay so here i have a brand new ios project as you can see i only have the two main files let's test it out let's just make sure that everything works hello world let's change it to hello mansoor and we can see the preview changing over here cool now let's go and try to build the app inside cursor so the first thing i want to do is open the project so let me find project developer app and our cursor to meditation app all right nice now we have our ios project opened inside cursor and as we can see we have the same files that we had inside xcode so now what we want to do is look at the screenshots of the app we're trying to make so let's find it on the app store and then look at the images so if you look at the images over here it's a timer based app that helps you meditate and what we can do is just right click, save as image and just download the image. And I want to go back into cursor and just send the image and let's put it over here and then say clone this app for me entirely and make it look exactly like the design. And over here you can select your AI model. In my case, I'm going to test out composer one because I want to see how cursor's own AI model performs. So now what we can do is send this. Now let's look at the output over here let me zoom in a little bit so it's saying planning next move from the past i know that composer one is super fast so let's see now how it performs okay it's starting to do the work and wow as you can see it's just going really fast and coding everything very very fast we see that the first file is already created okay so it looks like it finished coding everything now it's trying to build okay that's actually crazy now let's go inside xcode and see if there are any changes so we see that there's a lot more code over here here, but it failed to build the scheme for this meditation app. Let's try to run it on a simulator and see if it's going to work. So I'm going to select the iPhone 16 Pro and then click the run button. I feel like it's not going to work, but we'll try it out. Okay, so we have some errors. Let's just say you have some errors make sure that all the errors are fixed and always double check your code so that we never introduce new errors okay let's send this all right now it's going to try to find all the errors if it cannot find the errors then i'm just going to send the screenshots of the errors but i feel like it found the errors now it's saying verifying all errors are fixed okay it's running a final lint to check if there's any errors okay it said that it's fixed all the issues now let's Let's go back into Xcode and then reload the preview. Hopefully this time it'll work. All right, nice. So we see something now. So we see the uh, the progress bar and the timer. If we click on it, does the timer work? No, I don't think anything works right now. Let's try to run it on the iPhone and see if the buttons are working because on the preview, nothing is working. But it's a good first pass. It designed all the components inside the app, but I feel like maybe it did not put the actions related to the design. So if I click start timer, nothing works. The buttons do animate and they do get selected but the actual actions are not there daily goal stat okay so we just see some blank tabs over here all right cool so we have the design now all that's needed is to go inside cursor and say good first pass but the buttons don't actually do anything make them work so it also created a timer manager. So we're going to actually have a timer now. Nice. I see that there's some actions inside the buttons now. So hopefully our app is going to work after this run. Import audio toolbox. Okay. So now it's going to try to put all the sound effects. Because if we look at the screenshot of the app, then we can see that it's saying relax with sound. So you could either have, I don't know, the beach sound, fire sound, or like, I don't know, if you're in the desert, for example, that would be one of the sounds you selected. And inside our application, we can see that there is a 
rain button over here so i feel like then it's going to play the uh, rain sound effect for us now let's go back into cursor and see if it finished yes okay so everything finished now let's go back into xcode reload this let's see if first the preview works okay the preview is working now let's run it on the iphone simulator okay now that the app was here let's try it hopefully now everything works okay nice so now we can actually see a timer it's really nice if you were to use the app then you would actually be meditating for 20 minutes okay let's stop this let's click some of the other buttons i don't hear anything so there are two issues first the sound effects are not working and second there is this overlay where the progress bar is below the timer setup so let's try to fix this issue first and then we could tackle the sound effects problem the timer worked but the ui looks weird why is it that our main timer is below the navigation title and we can even take a screenshot just to make sure that the ai knows exactly what we're talking about okay now let's send this screenshot over here and say fix it and composer one is super fast so we don't really have to worry about working with it so as soon as it finishes planning its next move then we know that it's just going to code really really fast okay so it's changing some of the things with spacing and everything it add a scroll view all right it finished now let's go back into xcode run our app nice our app looks a lot better and as we can see we could even select this button over here and then select our time for a meditation session so if i set it for 53 minutes now my timer should be set for 53 minutes nice and we see it counting down so let's stop this and again our sound effects are not working so let's tackle this next let's go into cursor and say cool now add the sound effects inside my app application when i tap the rain button it should have a rain sound effect playing when i am in a meditation session all right let's send this so it added an audio manager class to play sounds and it's modifying the rest of the code so it can integrate that new class now i'm wondering if it even found the sound effect for rain let's test it out and see so if we go back into xcode okay so there are a lot of errors now let's go and say there are a lot of errors fix them all right it found the errors now it's going to try to fix all of them okay the errors are fixed now let's go back into xcode run our app again hopefully now we will be hearing the rain sound effect when we play our meditation okay so we have rain selected now let's start the timer okay so we have it's probably very hard to hear me so we have the rain sound effect so i don't know if you heard that but we have the rain sound effect but it's a very very bad one i don't know how it got the sound effect but let's go and ask it to change it change the rain sound effect it's too crazy find something more soothing and and call me i don't know if it created the rain sound effect by itself but that wasn't the best one yeah it's creating the sound effect with code so as we can see the code is saying white noise so let's see if this time it's going to be better if not then we're going to tell cursor to go and find an actual rain sound effect okay let's run the app now we can see the app let's start the timer hopefully this time it's good okay it's not so bad i'm not sure if you can hear it but it's very very calm it's as if it's like pouring outside but there's not a lot of sound it's pretty calming okay i'm pretty satisfied with that now these buttons don't work so i'm gonna tell cursor to fix them nice now the buttons below the start timer button do not work fix them all right it's checking what we just said trying to find the relevant code and it did everything in one giant file which is not the best as someone that codes for a living this is not the best thing to do but this is a demo so we're allowed but what we could have done in the beginning is to tell cursor hey Hey, create this app and make sure to follow the right software development conventions but it's all cool this is just for a demo just to show what cursor can do okay so it finished its output now let's go into xcode and see what it created let's run the app it might be a bit annoying to run the app every single time but this is just how it is with ios so let's click this button over here what happens nothing what happens over here nothing and this um i think it would need a screenshot so let's select this and then paste it 
inside cursor. Your changes did not do anything. For the first two buttons, make them work. Find some sound effect online if you need to so that they play when our meditation starts. All right, let's send the prompt. Okay, cool. So it's again modifying content view. It's a pretty big file. It has a bunch of different classes and a bunch of different structs. Again, not the best software development code, but what can you do? This is what we started with. We're going to try to finish with it. Okay, so it finished. Now let's go and see the output on Xcode. So let's run the app. I feel like it did not find the sound effects online and it tried to recreate the sound effects directly from code. So if we play the rain sound effect, let's start the timer. So we're hearing what we heard in the past. It's just a very constant static noise. If you think about it and close your eyes, you can hear rain, but it's just white noise. So let's stop it. Now let's select this, the first one. Okay, so it's just a different kind of white noise. This is, I would say, less static than the rain sound effect. Now let's go with the second Second one. Okay, this is clearly like a generic white noise sound. This one's pretty heavy and it's probably hard to hear me. So let's stop this. All right, cool. So we have a pretty nice looking app where all of our sound effects are working. We can start a timer. We can meditate through this timer. We can stop it. We can pause it. So all of the most important features for this app were built just in a couple of minutes using Cursor 2.0. And I'm pretty impressed how Composer 1 did a very good job and was pretty, pretty fast. Now, the next thing you would want to do is to continue building this app, continue building the other pages, like the daily goal, the stats. And then when you fix all the bugs and all the errors, the only thing that's left is just pushing the app to the app store and then releasing your app. It's kind of crazy how I'm sure Manuel spent a lot of time designing and building his app where we kind of cloned his app in a couple of minutes, but I'll be the one to say it. The code that our AI created is not the same as production apps that you see on the app store, but still, if you can use AI to help you build apps, then why not? So this was the video. I hope you learned something. So if you build your app and publish it to the app store, send me a message on Instagram or somewhere. And I'd like to see your app built fully by AI. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.